In this tutorial, I will show you how to install IntelliJ 2022.1 for Java FX 18 with uh, Java 18. Let's go to Zepin's website, download. Latest version is 2022.1. Okay, it will take about two, three minutes to download. Okay, I assume you already installed JDK 18, then JavaFX SDK 18 as well. Okay, let's continue. Load it. Next, this is your, where you are going to install IntelliJ. Next. Okay, let me create desktop shortcut. Others are leave it. Next. Install. Let me run IntelliJ. I do not import settings. If you have a previous version of IntelliJ, in IntelliJ here 2022.1. Let's create a new project. I'm going to focus on JavaFX project. Demo, that's OK. JDK 18. Next. No dependencies. So uh, first time it's going to download um, some shared libraries. Just say always download. We'll synchronize with uh, JDK. So wait for a while. It may take about two three minutes. This is indexing JDK 18. Okay. Download it. Seems okay now. Here is the uh, IntelliJ 2022.1. Uh, Java Apex project consists with uh, uh, at this point four files, two Java classes, one FXML, one uh, module import Java. Let's build. Build successful by uh, Maiden, Maven. Let's run it. All in demo. That's the name of the project. First time you may need to say allow access. Okay, no test were found. That's fine. Let's run it. All in demo, hello application. So I'm going to run hello application. Click it. Welcome to Java FX application. So as it is, it comes with a sample project, so you can run it. Let's open FXML in SimBuilder. First time you need to set up um, Sim Builder and then uh, the directory. It's a hidden directory, so you may need to turn it on. On the user's directory, my name is Ken. So on the Ken, you're looking for app data. Look for 
sem beta. Then we are going to select sem beta dot exe. Okay, you just need to do that only once. As we can see, I'm using Chapex and Builder 18.0.0. For a quick demonstration, let me make a minor change. Text message, I will change to um, Hello Java Apex 18. Go to code, FX ID. You can name uh, BTR Hello as an object name. Uh, even handle, I will keep it as it is. Save. Return to IntelliJ. Here you go. Uh, you can create um, FX ID for a controller class. Normally, we declare as a private modifier, so let me change. Then you can submit annotations. So you can see that FXML annotations, okay? This method, let me add uh, JavaFX18. Let's build project. Learn it. Now you can see the label is changed, okay? JavaFX18. Let's remove uh, model info Java so that we can do uh, non-modular programming. Go to lib vector, save delete, OK. You can try to uh, build. Build successful. No application, so here it says that JavaFX runtime components are missing. So let's go to uh, project structure, libraries. Instead of ma uh, Maven build here, delete. We are going to add uh, JavaFX SDK library. In my case, it's on the program files, Java. JavaFX SDK 18 and then library. Okay. Okay, this is where I keep all JavaFX SDK uh, library Java files. Okay, let's try again. Seems okay now. Let's try to learn it. Okay, still we have an uh, error message. So what we need to do is we need to add a JavaFX model when you do a long time. So hello application, configuration file, modify options, add VM options. You can add a module paths. In this case, it will be a C drive, okay. Program files, Java, JavaFX, SDK 18, and library. So you can copy, paste it, and then add modules. This simple uh, project, I'm using JavaFX controls, and then uh, JavaFX FXML. Apply, okay. Let's try to run it again. Okay, this time it works. Okay, we are learning um, Java with the module pass and then add modules. Click, okay, everything as it is, it works. Close it. 
next one uh, I'm going to show you how to create uh, executable Java FX Java file so then you can simply uh, double click uh, application Java file let's create a new class that's going to launch uh, application classes uh, launch method in the hello application Java so hello application and then main methods that's it and then we have arguments go to project structure artifacts char from module with dependencies main class make sure you select uh, app class and then uh, directory for meta info manifesto you make sure that it's a source directory okay otherwise it won't work okay then here we have to add a file let's go back to javafx sdk directory there will be a one directory called binary Okay, you select all these DLL files, first one to last one. You can use a shift key. Okay, all of them apply. Okay, let's go to build and the build artifacts. Uh, build is compressing all uh, Java classes, FXML all together. We will create a Java file under out directory okay demo jar name of the project okay let's open in windows explore when you double click it it's going to launch the application okay as it is it works um, that's the quick demonstration how to set up for javafx18 that's all thank you